Being the child of an addict myself, my dad was an alcoholic. Uh, I know the traumatic experience of a child going through that, watching an adult who's not there for them. So I met Eddie on LinkedIn. Um, we'd noticed each other's posts and saw that we shared a common interest in, in helping others through creative videos. Today I'm talking to you about choices and chances and early intervention of young people making bad decisions. We started chatting and I thought Eddie had a fantastic story for the um, recovery festival. Age 16, went to prison for the first time. Three months with sadists. They called them staff. I called them demons. I hated them. Eddie liked what I was doing as well, uh, making films with people who were struggling in life, uh, telling their stories or uh, just showing them how to make creative videos. Yeah, I love your ethos and what you do. So I basically want to do what you're doing now. Uh, not strictly the same because because our experiences are different, but the same thing. Any any project I'm involved with, I want to involve people. So we came up with this idea that he would travel down from the Midlands where he is and um, he would share his story for the recovery festival that he was interested in. And I'll show him how I started with the small camera and using some free online software to edit with. It was great meeting up with Eddie for the first time, uh, knowing about the project that we were going to work on together and having sort of connected through social media. You've got more grey hairs than me, look. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a couple of lads from South Down College on work experience with me at that time. And there was also um, two girls who had just graduated, one from psychology and one in uh, filmmaking from Portsmouth University that had heard about the recovery festival and wanted to be involved. Um, so it was amazing to have this small team around us to work on this project. So my recovery, I'm I'm 64 years of age. Up until the age of 50, I was a career criminal. I'd served 20 years on and off in jails. Uh, I, was, I was an addict and an alcoholic. Um, when I was young, back at the age of 10 or 11 and stuff, I was abused, didn't tell anybody. And from the age of 13, I was just this angry, volatile young man who, who just didn't know what to do. From the age of 15, I started drinking and doing drugs, and up to the age of 50, all that led to was the criminality kept me tied into the addiction. And if you get into crime, you're going to end up going to prison. And when you go into prison, that just reinforces your view of yourself as being worthless and stuff. And you then take on the conditioning of prison. And when you're in prison, whatever you're doing in prison, you have to be strong enough to do that and survive the prison. So it's all about survival. So I don't think you grow emotionally. But at the age of 30, my dyslexia was diagnosed in prison by a teacher. Then got into education because I learned coping strategies and did psychology and social sciences. Uh, and I just loved education. I just soaked it up for those 20 years. That was 16 years ago. It's been an amazing journey since in those 16 years. You know what I mean? It's. Uh, it took me another four years to get in stone sober. So for the first four years, I was still in and out of rehab, but I was making headway. So I thought, right, I need to find myself and do something. So I thought, I've got to do something that I know stuff about. So I started doing street outreach, went to Manchester, worked for Barnabas, fed the homeless. Uh, then when I had a few years of sobriety about myself, I then started doing it in my local area of Wilmslow. So I set up my own street, street outreach program and I run that for a few years in my community where I live now. I working with churches, day centres, different organisations, getting a bit more sobriety behind me, more time away from crime. People started taking me seriously. When I did get sober 12 years ago, by then I, I was going blind. But then when I got my sight back, that's when I deserved it for decided, so this is about seven years ago. But right, my sight's back now, I need to learn. I want to do art. And I've never done art on the outside, I'd only ever done it in prison. Mm. And uh, my the drawing became more difficult and that's when I thought about digital and stuff like that. When I go back, I, I want to work with young people. I want to bring people, especially young kids that are getting into trouble. Mm. 
12, 13, 14, 15, working with them, talking to them about why I started making bad decisions at about the age of 30. I, I've got contacts now, me and John are doing a thing, it's called Choices and Chances, where, which were taken to peop, uh, pupil referral units, that's young people who've got into the criminal justice system, they send them to special homes, so they have to be secure and stuff. And yeah, stuff like that. But doing something where it's making a difference, working with people, young people, who are either learning the creative process or are on, on the early stages of getting into criminality and drink and drugs. I think that's where I could, I'd best do the work. Eddie shared his story. Uh, I showed him basics of uh, film making for enough to be able to make a promotional video. And then the next day we went and shot on a small delicatessen on Palmerston Road and made a professional video from beginning to end with what he had learned. So Ed returned home with the knowledge of how to put together a um, short promotional video and to be able to share that with the uh, people that he's trying to reach.